Hey, let's talk trash trees. This is an Alanthus, also known as a tree of heaven. And in a lot of the country, this is considered a trash tree. What makes a trash tree? Well, it propagates way too easily. It spreads way too easily. And it is invasive, typically, to native varieties. Now, we don't have a lot of native deciduous trees in our area but they are very aggressive and they do propagate and they push themselves into landscapes where they're not wanted. Even the trees behind there, those are Acer Negundo, box elders, most commonly known, Manitoba maples. Those are the ones I tapped for syrup. And those two are considered an invasive species for the very same reason, is that they just propagate so easy. And uh, also they make quite the mess. They're always dropping something. Even something like this silk tree or mimosa, can be an invasive species in certain regions. There are other invasive species like the ornamental pear, Bradford pear, capital pear, that are very invasive in some areas. Here they don't seem to be particularly invasive. They are hardy enough that they actually get chosen again and again as a street tree. I wouldn't recommend it. They smell terrible and they have a lot of disease issues, etc. But invasive species can depend greatly on the region that you're in and what is propagating easily, spreading into the indigenous forests, etc. So do your research before you go planting a new tree in your landscape and find out whether or not that's a species that is potentially going to spread and become invasive or problematic like this big old Lanthus, which you can see had a lot of dead, dying, and breaking branches drop out of it. We probably will see this one go away in the not too distant future.